Welcome back to Google Guru. If you haven't had the opportunity to join us before, Google Guru is an informational video series where we'll teach you how to perform all kinds of things in Google Apps, from basic to pretty advanced tasks. Today we're going to talk about a brand new feature in Google Presentations, and that's animations. I'll show you a couple different ways that you can implement animations, and then I'll take you through the process of doing that. Animations were released in mid-October as part of the um, complete overhaul of Google Presentations. Um, it looks completely different. There are a few other features um, released that we'll talk about in other videos, but I think most people would consider animations to be um, the biggest update. So you can see here I've created this uh, simple three-slide presentation called Guru Overview. Slides two and three are identical, and we'll do two different sets of animations. So in slide two, I'll click on the first bullet point and go to Insert Animation. Now, I can also change the transition from slide one to slide two. So we'll do the gallery. And then you can also select the speed at which you'd like the animation to execute. We'll do one second and apply that to all slides. So between every slide, we'll have the exact same transition. Now you can see this is the animation that will trigger um, when I click first once I enter the slide. So there's a couple different options here. You can choose the type of um, animation. We'll do appear, and then you can do on click with previous or after previous. On click just means that it won't be it won't appear until you click. With previous means that it'll happen at the same time as the previous animation, and um, after previous means that you'll give it a delay. Now if you want to do each bullet on its own, um, you want to click by paragraph. Otherwise all three bullets will come in with the same animation. If you want to do um, a different type of animation for each bullet point, you'll need to separate them into three separate text, box, text boxes. And you'll see that on slide three, how we do that. So I'm going to do this by paragraph. You can see when I hit play, Agenda and the Google Guru logo should be showing, and then I'll click three times to bring up the bullet points. Okay, there you go. That's exactly what we expected. Now I'll show you a little bit different way to do it in slide three. You can see it looks the exact same, but I've gone ahead and separated the bullet points into two different text boxes. So we have the first bullet point and the last two. Now we're going to animate the first bullet point with um, the same type of animation, appear, on click. It doesn't matter if you do by paragraph or not because there's only one bullet point here. Now the second animation I'm going to add is to the image itself down here. I want that to appear at the same time that the first bullet point appears. So we'll say appear with previous and we'll do it pretty fast. Now I'm going to animate bullet points two and three separately. I do want to do these by paragraph because I want them to show up one at a time. And we'll do the same type of animation. Well, actually, let's change it up. We'll do fly in on click. All right, let's check it out. There you go. Now the second bullet point on this click, and the third bullet point on this click. All right, that's it. Um, I'm a huge fan of this new feature. I think Google's done a great job with it. I hope you're enjoying it too. And um, as always, you can, you can check out googleguru.com for more videos about how to do everything in Google Apps. Thanks for your time.